Um, so another way, so we, we know what sovereignty is. A state has the ability to govern themselves without question. At least that's what the definition of sovereignty is, but that doesn't always uh, always happen. Um, stronger countries like the United States, you could argue, have more sovereignty than other countries. Um, you could argue that Russia has more sovereignty than other countries that maybe have no ability to govern themselves. And so uh, another example might be Syria. They're having a civil war, but they have no power in and of themselves over how that ends up, which is the reason why the United States and Russia and Saudi Arabia and uh, um, Iran, all these different um, power players are involved in the Syrian civil wars because they don't have the power to control what's within the boundaries in the same way that we would. Nobody interfered in our civil war, right? Um, autonomy is another way of looking at, uh, um, at power, but it's really kind of a different thing altogether. It's not really power as much as simply the ability for an area within the state to govern itself without a whole lot of interference. So um, to read the definition, self-governing regions that belong to a state but can kind of do their own thing. All right, this is really, really important. All right, um, let me give you an example. If you look at... I think it might be my next. I'll get ahead of myself a little bit. Um, let's look at the United Kingdom. Uh, the United Kingdom is a country. They're a state. But they describe themselves as a country of countries. Now, wait a second. We know what that's like, right? Because we are the United States of America. We have a bunch of states within our, our state, which is the U.S., it's actually not really like that. And it's hard for me to, to, to say it because it's hard for me to conceptualize their identities with their individual na uh, nations. But England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland each are different na uh, nations within the political unit known as the United Kingdom. So they all kind of fall within the government of the United Kingdom, but they, they control themselves because they're autonomous regions with their own parliaments. They make, uh, they can uh, tax their own people. They can make um, regional laws and things that apply to their people and govern them kind of at a more uh, local level than the British, the, 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 the um, United Kingdom government as a whole. But they still fall within the, I guess, the jurisdiction or within the, uh, the authority of the central government. So th this here is what I mean by autonomous Regions. These, these are you can consider each of these to be um, kind of autonomous in that they do their own thing or they they govern themselves, but uh, it's still part of a country. Uh, probably even th these here are probably better examples of of uh, I guess they're all examples of an autonomous region. I, I guess they all might would be different in the way they look and appear. All right, the people in the United Kingdom, you know, it doesn't really get super nasty there in terms of political unrest, but we already talked about how in Kosovo it did, right? Um, the Kurds in Iraq, uh, they don't have their own state and they, and they want it. Um, and so you have a problem here where, where sometimes you know, they feel mistreated. But, but for the most part, these are all areas that are controlled by other states that really kind of enjoy a level of autonomy. Not independence, but it's like independence because the main government doesn't really interfere much in what they do as long as they're not doing crazy stuff. Who would have known? Do you guys know that Greenland was part of Denmark? You might actually in your lifetime see Greenland become its own country and be free of Denmark. You might also see Scotland sooner than later become uh, its own thing. You know that most people in Scotland were um, okay with staying in the European Union. The Brexit vote might cause them to want yet another referendum to become their own country. I think the last one that happened was actually in 2015. Not that long ago, they voted by a very slim margin to stay part of the United Kingdom. Everybody thought they were going to separate and become their own country. Hong Kong, just like with Taiwan, is, is considered part of China. China makes it very known that they can do whatever they want to in Hong Kong. But Hong Kong is a, is a it's not a micro state because it is technically part of sovereign China. But... It is definitely an autonomous region, and they have their own government, their own president, and, and their own economy. They do their own thing. Um, it's just that China, again, just like with Taiwan, continually makes it known that they are part of China. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. The United, uh, the United Kingdom. 
I just said all this. You know, it's comprised of four different nations consider themselves separate countries. They um, by the way, they also play soccer as different teams, okay, or or football as the world knows it. Uh, they 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 do not play as the United Kingdom. They play as different countries represented by you know Scotland, Wales, England, Northern Ireland. Also, know that even though this is all the geographic island of Ireland, the Republic of Ireland is its own separate country. It is not part of the United Kingdom. All right. It is not part of the United Kingdom. 